Shaka Ilembe had some really incredible kings who were featured in the series. We look at the kings who made a really good impression. First on the list is King Makasana, played by Vusi Kunene. He was in Kosi Yamadonga in Shaka Ilembe. King Makasana is introduced giving things while dressing down, but soon enough they are holding court together, trading with the Portuguese and slaying slaves for export. He was the beaded king with some of the most beautiful beads seen in their time. Another king who had the ladies weak in the knees is King Senzanga Konagajama, played by Senzora Tebe. King Senzanga Konagajama is the son of King Jama and Queen Mdiani. Senzanga Konagajama became king of the Zulus and father to Shaka. He was a charismatic leader who was also known for his dashing looks. Despite his disappointment at not being the great leader the Sanusi foretold, from his seed came the greatest Zulu king and many thereafter that continued to unite and lead the Zulu nation long after his reign. One king who had a powerful antagonist is none other than King Zwide Galanga, played by wise men Mube. Zwide, son of Langa, the one who stings the people feel the sting, is the tail end that gets stung and he doesn't get stung. Zwide, son of feared Queen Mtomazi and King Langa, he was shrewd and dangerous warrior who outmaneuvered his adversaries with draft strategy and ruthlessness. He shared his mother's ambition to build an empire and was fearlessly committed to protecting and providing for his people. His mother became known as the greatest advisor and was believed to be a witch. One king who became powerful after returning from exile is King Dingintoya, formerly known as Gondongwa Anaka Jobe, who played by Temingo Simtembu, son of King Jobe, of Temtembu, who fled into exile and against great odds returned as Dingintoya ascended to the throne of the mighty Mteto. King Dingintoya was an inspirational leader, gifted strategist, skilled warrior known for his military prowess and wise counsel. Ability for diplomacy, he became a key mentor to Shaka and helped shape him into a great warrior and loaded leader. Lastly, the great warrior Shaka Kasenzangakona, played by Lemohang Tipi, Shaka the son of Queen Nandi and Zulu King Senzangakona Rajama. Shaka and his mother were outcasts who endured hardships, which shaped him into a becoming a legendary leader and warrior. His story of outwearing determination and unbreakable will is a testament of the power of the human spirit. He went to conquer and unify many kingdoms to build the Zulu nation and left an incredible mark on African history that continues to fascinate people around the world. Although there were other kings featured in the series, these stories were as most impactful and that of the kings we listed here. For more on the series and other kings, you are more than welcome to go watch Mzansi Magic and look at their history.